We shouldn't say, what is life? That is definitely the wrong question. What we should say, we should ask is, what does life do? So, and if we ask that, then, of course, what it does, if you think about it, it takes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and reacts it with hydrogen from water to make a small but ever continuous number of organic molecules. That's life's job, if you like. Uh, and that's the way I think we were talking about the way we might be able to see it. Now, if we think about Venus, Mars, and the, uh, and the Earth, they have similar carbon dioxide, or did have similar carbon dioxide to nitrogen ratios. So in other words, they were all, they were all possible uh, places for life to start. Of course, Venus got too hot. We can't tell whether there was life there or not. Uh, Mars seems to have been a likely place to have life on uh, at some time. But of course, there's a detection limit problem about whether we could find it on Mars. But nevertheless, this is the kind of place that uh, any water world like this with a rocky interior, we, I would say, would have life. I just one more thing about this and to say, why, why can one be so confident about this? Well, we know that this was a very hot planet. I mean, it's still pretty hot in the interior, five to 6,000 degrees centigrade. And how does it get rid of its heat? It gets rid of its heat by convection. Convection in the core, which gives us the, the Van Allen belts and so on that actually protects us from cosmic radiation. Convection in the mantle of the planet, convection in, in the crust, giving us uh, hydrothermal systems, and convection in the atmosphere, and so forth. Now, the paradox of convection is it actually makes chemist chemicals in, into disequilibrium. So you get a chemical potential generated because of convection. So convection satisfies the thermal potential, and then along comes convection near the surface, and we get uh, this potential between hydrogen from the planet, so this is emanating some hydrogen, and at high temperature it emanates carbon dioxide, and what life does is it reacts the two together to make either, to start with, either methane or acetic acid. And my particular pitch for Mars would be to say, well, maybe the best chance for looking for life on Mars is, of course, to look for waste products, and that waste product might well be acetic acid because it, uh, methane is too ambiguous. So I think, are you sort of arguing that chemical potential is, is, you've got to think about that in terms of producing the energy for life that, that it could utilize. Is that, exactly. is that a, a cornerstone of the argument? Exactly. So in other words, just like lightning uh, is, is related to the discharge of energy in clouds and so forth, and by the way, probably cosmic radiation is what helps the lightning strike. If we have the next slide, I can show you that we would say that this is the kind of system, uh, this is called Lost City. It's 600 meters deep in the North Atlantic. Uh, and we would say this is the best place for life to have discharged its energy on the early Earth. Because here, this system generates hydrogen, uh, large quantities of hydrogen, some methane, as, you know, as these things keep doing. We still don't know the real source of that methane, because, of course, the Earth can produce methane geochemically, and also a little bit of acetate uh, from acetogenic bacteria in this kind of system. So this Lost City system, we would say, is the kind of uh, reactor, the, the natural chemical reactor. In fact, my preferred word is this kind of system, which we predicted on the basis of this hypothesis, is the kind of hatchery of life. Because this is where we have chemical disequilibrium. We have gradients acting across. We've got a thermal gradient between the hot interior and the cold outside. On the early Earth, just like we've been hearing from Steve about Mars, it was probably an acidic ocean. So we've got protons. Uh, trying to get through the outside of the uh, margins of this inorganic precipitate. Uh, and those are the kind of sy systems that kind of kick life into being, we would say. Life needs a bit of help. Carbon dioxide and hydrogen don't like to react. Well, you probably know even hydrogen and oxygen don't react unless you strike the match. You could say that life is what strikes the match between uh, carbon dioxide and hydrogen to make organic molecules and water. So those, are the, and the two first effluents would have been acetic acid or vinegar uh, by the so-called acetogenic bacteria and the methanogens making, generating methane. 